Hey Urban Youth Workers, my name is Luma Haddad. I'm from San Diego, California, and I'm a Young Life Area Director serving in the same community for the last 18 years. I'm really excited to do Sex and Dating 2. So hopefully you saw the first video that kind of helps you facilitate a discussion with your youth about sex and dating. And this one helps kind of talk a little bit more deeper about intimacy, and you know what we're really looking for when we're in a relationship while we're dating and all that other good stuff. And so we're going to take a look at the Samaritan woman who's in John 4 and uh, it's a great it's a great gospel account to go through with your discipleship group and just kind of break it down. Have everyone pull out their Bibles and start digging through. And so you have Jesus here who's going through Samaria and is so tired so he sits down at the well. The crazy thing is, is that he didn't really have to go through Samaria, but he wanted to that day because he knew that he was going to meet a woman at the well. And he knew what she'd been going through. And he knew that he had to tell her that he had more to offer than what she'd been through. And so you have this incredible account of Jesus walking by foot, tired, in the heat to get to this woman. And he goes and he sits down by the well because he's tired. He's fully God and he's fully human. Tired and thirsty. And here you have at the sixth hour, the hottest time of day, this woman who comes up with an empty jar coming to the well to fill water. Her empty jar symbolizes her empty life. And here she is at the well and she sees Jesus face to face, ignores him goes to get some water and he says to her, can I have a drink? And she says, hold up. If you are a Jew and I'm a Samaritan, how are you asking me you know, for water? Because we're really not supposed to be even talking to each other. Jesus didn't care. At that moment, race didn't matter and gender didn't matter. He cared for her. And he didn't care about the cultural and the racial issues that were taking place. He cared about her needs. And so he told her, listen, if you only knew who was talking to you, and if you only knew that this Messiah who's speaking to you can actually offer you living water, he was there to offer her more than what she'd been through. So he proceeds to tell her, I know you've had five husbands, and the man that you're with now is not even your husband. She's like, wait, hold up. How do you know all that stuff about me? Because he knew everything, and he still wanted to meet her that day. She'd had five husbands. She'd been looking for love five different times. And the guy that she was with currently was somebody that she was just sleeping with. And that was exactly why she was going to the well at noon. They all knew about her. They all knew about how many men she'd been with and the man that she was with now. She didn't need those stares or glares. She didn't want to hear it. She didn't want to be looked down upon. She didn't want to deal with the judgment no more. She was with that man currently because she would deeply searching for love. And that's exactly it with our teenagers, the ones we're working with. They're looking for love. And if they're not finding it at home, they want to find it in the opposite sex or the same sex. They want to find it in dating and relationships and experimenting in sex and all those things. Because it's this deeper longing to be known, a deeper longing to be loved. That word intimacy, intima, someone knowing you with your innermost layer. And Jesus knew her innermost layer, and he loved her. You know what was crazy? He didn't lecture her. He didn't start talking to her about her sin. He didn't say, here's a pamphlet you need to read. Go join that group down the, you know, down the road. He simply said, come and receive this living water that I want to offer you. It's more than you've ever dreamt of. It'll quench your thirst. It will fill you. And she couldn't believe what she heard. Someone who knew everything about her and still loved her and accepted her. And that's the message we need to tell our youth, that they are loved. That God can be all those things to them. And whatever they're lacking, God can fill. And it's through discipling them, through walking with them, through showing them the scriptures, through living life with them, through mentoring them, sticking it out with them, is showing them the love of God. Incarnational ministry, Christ in you. Listen, urban youth worker, you've been called. You have been chosen for this assignment. There's nobody else lining up behind you to do this. 
You are called and we are so thankful for men and women like you who've given up time out of their lives, time to serve the Lord. You've seen this as precious time. You see it as valuable to invest and mentor in the life of a youth. And you get to speak words of truth now. You get to explain to them what they've been dealing with how to deal with the shame of their past, the shame of maybe having sex, the shame of being in an unhealthy relationship. You get to talk about those feelings of feeling inadequate, feeling dirty, feeling that, that guilt that they feel, that God can only set them free from those things. And He can be their ultimate lover. He can fill all that. He can be the living water. You know what's crazy? She leaves her empty water jar and runs back to town leaves her empty life because she's been filled with Jesus Christ and runs into town and tells everyone, I just met a man who knew everything about me and he just offered me living water. He uses this woman to be an evangelist the same way he's used you and I and the same way he's gonna use the youth in our groups, our future leaders that are gonna be world changers. He used this woman and they all come running and they all see for themselves who Christ is and their lives are forever changed, it says. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're not about information, we're about transformation. And as we begin to share this information of Jesus Christ, we'll begin to see the Holy Spirit transform lives. So use this tool in your groups and talk about this important subject, because a lot of people can get caught up in sex and dating and then forget who they are in Christ and get caught up in a whole nother world. So thank you so much, and I hope that this kit will help you. Thanks.